everyone, this is Nicole from the project design team at Cricut. I uh, was part of the team that helped put in the face masks on Design Space. So I'm going to walk you through how you can cut those out using your Cricut or by hand and um, how to assemble them. So first we're going to go to Design Space and find the size that we want to cut out. Uh, there are four different sizes available. I'm going to do the small to medium adult face mask. Uh, so all we have to do is click that and that will bring up the project page. Now something I really want you to pay attention to is the caution in our description section. Please read over that carefully and take that into consideration when making these masks. Then if you continue down, we have the information about uh, the material you'll need, um, the other items that you'll need if you're using the Cricut. Uh, it has some preparation steps, some cut steps, and then assembly steps. If you hover over any of the photos, they will pop out a little bit for you so you can see them a little easier. And we also have some helpful links at the bottom, so make sure you check out those. Um, as with all of our community good projects, this project is free, so you don't have to pay whether you have um, Cricut access or not. Uh, down here at the bottom, we see the Make It button, so we're going to go ahead and click that. That's going to bring us to the project uh, preview screen. So here you can increase the copies, you can take out the fabric marking if you want. Um, it does go a little quicker that way, but the fabric marking is just basically the seam allowances, the, the lines that helps out a little bit. Um, so for this demonstration, I'm going to turn it off because um, it will make it go a little bit quicker. Then you can also select the mat size that you have. So um, I have the 12 by 24 mats here, so I'm going to switch this one to the 12 by 24. You can see material size, 12 by 24, and that will put them on one mat for me so that I don't have to switch out as much. Uh, the other thing I did last night is I cut out about 12 copies at a time, uh, so that made it go a lot quicker, and, and I have those ready to go a lot sooner. And we're going to go back make sure we have this. And we're going to go down here to continue. Once we're in the continue screen, this is our cut screen. We're going to select the machine we're going to use. You can see I use a lot of different machines at work. Um, once that is loading, that's connecting by Bluetooth. So I will know that it is ready when this the on button turns blue. Then I will be able to select our material. Um, for this first cut, I'm going to do it out of fabric, just to show you how you would load it. So here I have favorites. Um, we have the medium fabrics like cotton, which is what I'm going to use. A nice quality cotton from Rayleigh Blake. You can increase or decrease the pressure if you'd like. Since we're not, since we turned off the washable fabric pen, we don't need to include it. Um, but, but that's where it would uh, be in the clamp A if we were going to use it. Um, so first I'm going to show you how to load the mat. Okay, so we're going to load our fabric mat. Um, I'm using, like I said, the 12 by 24, but you can use the 12 by 12 for any of these projects. We're going to load the fabric with the right side down, just in case you are using the fabric marking pen, you would want to mark on the wrong side of the fabric. Uh, this is fabric from Riley Blake. It's already cut to 12 um, inches wide, so it's perfect. We can just lay it straight down. Um, I want to make sure the selvage, which is this printed portion, is not being part of the mat, so I'm just going to leave it a little bit above the top line and just smooth out any of those wrinkles. I don't have to worry about pressing it first, but it doesn't hurt. So you're just going to Smooth it out. If you have a brayer, it's helpful to use that. Like I said, this mat is brand new, so it's not super, super important. And for this first cut, it's really only going to cut um, this top portion. So that's the mat loaded with the fabric. And we're going to go over to the machine, which is ready to load. Okay, so we have the material loaded on the mat. We're going to slide it under the tabs on the sides and keep it pressed up against the rollers before we hit load. Make sure that it loads all the way. 
Um, once it's ready there, we have we make sure we have our rotary blade in if you're putting it directly on the maker. And we're going, it says it's ready to go. We have our go button ready, lit up. We're just gonna hit go. Okay, so it's done cutting our first mat. So we're going to eject the mat and just see how smooth that comes up. Set our material aside. And then we'll just peel this off. You can use tweezers or you can just use your fingers. All right, so I've pre-cut a bunch of these so that I can show you how to assemble them. But for now, I wanted to show you how you would cut it if you were using just the fine point blade. Okay, so this is how you would cut it out if you're going to cut it out of cardstock with your Air or Air 2 um, to make it as a pattern. You would select the project the same you would normally. Um, here you can leave the fabric marking pen. It doesn't really matter which pen you use, so I'm just going to use a black fine point. Um, but you can see here that it has the seam allowances included and it's on a 12 by 12. I don't have any 12 by 24 cardstock right now, so I'm just gonna use an eight and a half by 11 uh, piece of cardstock. So I'm just gonna make sure that the pattern is well within the space I have available on my cardstock. Then I'm going to hit continue down here when it's all ready to go. So then I need to connect via Bluetooth because I don't have my cord, it doesn't work with my Mac. While that's connecting, I've prepared my mat with the 8.5 by 11 and I have my pen ready, so I'm going to go ahead and load that into the machine in the A clamp and it's going to go down until you hear a click, that's how you know it's in and I already have the fine point blade in there. Then I'm going to select medium cardstock here. I like to use more pressure and it's ready to load. So it's going to load just the way you would any other uh, cardstock type mat uh, under the tabs, pressed against the rollers, hit go and it lights up and it's going to cut. You really don't need to cut each one because it's going to be the same shape. Um, so I'm only going to cut the larger outer shape and the liner shape. And then you just need to make sure you cut two uh, of each out of your fabric. So right now it's doing all the draw lines for me. And since this is a it has both house or both carriages, the A clamp and the B clamp. It will just go right to the cutting. If you're using an Air One, you'll have to switch it out. And it's done. So, as usual, you're going to peel the mat away from the material. Get less curling, and that's there you go.